Hello everyone. I know you can't see me, but that's fine because you will see me in two minutes maybe. But what I want... Oh, hello, this is me. Summer edition as it is hot. So I want to talk really briefly on how law of assumption really works in a way that it actually works on everyone when it comes to like, well, everything. We know that it's true, right? But even if we just look at it in a sense of how love works and how relationships work and how end of relationship or end of love, basically, how that also works. Because these are my thoughts on it today. And my smart ass is gonna share them with you. Man, it's dark. So, how do we do it? There's a doggy and there are all these people. And I'm recording and I'm looking like I'm fucking stupid because no one ever records here in this city. <laughs> and I'm speaking English, which makes me even more crazy in their eyes, but it's okay. It's also simple, basically, if you want someone to love you, you know what you do? You literally think they love you. That's just it. Basi that's like the easiest way to explain how this works. And it really works like that. Just, yeah, it like, it seems crazy to us because we as humans are so used to thinking like we are used to thinking all these things and like over here you know, overthinking everything and just having these limiting beliefs tons of them and like just being in this constant you know analyzing analyzing processing processing analyzing because our brain is created for us to be safe to stay alive, not to starve, basically the same thing. <laughs> but what it is really actually is that it is so simple. Now, this video is supposed to be short as I always make such long fucking videos. <laughs> so, how does it work when we talk about falling in love, being with someone, and then at some point falling out of love? I finally got it, guys. I get it. And I'm gonna tell you how it works. Okay. Okay. Focus, Justina. So. We are all, we all are one consciousness, one energy. Now, why does... I'm not gonna talk about robotic affirming because that works also, but for me, the feeling is the secret, which is basically visualizing and feeling the love for my specific person. That's just, that's just, uh, what the fuck is that? Um, I, I use different techniques, but I'm talking about this one. So basically, this is how people fall in love. And this is why it works for some and it doesn't for some. So... Let's see, um, let's see, there is a, a girl and a boy, heterosexual this time, okay? So, there's a girl and a boy, and, and, the boy meets the girl, they like each other, and they're like, <laughs> and they start what? They start thinking about each other. They're not scared, because they don't care that much. They're like, oh, okay, yeah, I met him. Yeah, he's nice, cute. But then, as they talk, they like each other more, okay? Oh, of course, it can happen instantly, it's fine, like, but, you know, and they think. And so the girl thinks, oh my God, he's so cute. And the boy thinks, oh my God, this is so nice. She's so nice. One consciousness. What are they feeling, though? They are feeling nice feelings. Nice feelings. Then they fall in love because they constantly, the energy, it's going up, 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 up. Yeah, 
the vibration or whatever. It's just, it's evolving. It's more intense, but it's positive. The feelings are, the thoughts are creating the feelings that are more and more intense, yet still positive. Okay? So, okay. We've got the girl and the boy. Let's call them Harold and Hedwiga. <laughs> okay. So, Harold and Hedwiga, where am I even fucking going? They fall in love and they get into the relationship. Now, they still are in love. They still think these thoughts. Oh my god, Hedwig is the best girl I've ever fucking met. Oh my god, I love her so much. Okay. And they are pumping through thoughts, the feeling, the energy. Still positive. They're pumping it. And now, now guess what? Guess what? Why do people fall out of love? I'm not talking about like chemistry hormones and like all these stuff here. But why actually? When we look at love assumption, it makes so much sense. You can actually explain this shit once and for all not using other things. Just, just love assumption. And I figure it out, bitches. And I know what it is. It is the fact that they stop pumping the thoughts that make them feel the certain way about their person. So, you know, the routine comes in and Hedwig and Harold, Christ, there's so many people. Hedwig and Harold start to live, like they start living together let's say after, I don't know, one year and a half in a relationship and they start living together, okay? So their thoughts are like, hmm, yeah, it's nice, but Hedwiga is kind of, you know, she doesn't clean as much as I thought she would clean. And Hedwiga is like, oh my God, like, yeah, yeah, it's nice, but she's talking to her friends. Yeah, it's nice living with Harold, but you know, I really have this problem, like, he never cleans toilet after shitting. That's the beginning. Okay? Now let's move forward, uh, I don't know, one year later, or let's say, whatever it might be, right? So maybe one year later, or two years later, they are still living together. They are in a relationship. But guess what? What feelings they have? What thoughts they have and what feelings does it create? Positive? Not much. Not really. They don't like each other very much. They might love each other in a way, you know, as human beings, as... But the, 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 the feeling, it's different. And now imagine this. Imagine this. They are not in their best. They're okay. And then Harold starts to use, I don't know, literally whatever, I, I don't know. Let's make it Hedwiga, because the night owl, right? So Hedwiga starts to go a lot outside at night with her friends. And Harold starts to be jealous. And just by that thought, what is he beginning to do? That's beginning of the end. If you don't stop it, of course. This is already nine minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish now. So, fast and forward, Harold is like, even if he doesn't say that out loud, he's like, Hedwiga is definitely cheating on me. I don't think she's going out with her friends. Meanwhile, Hedwiga is going out with her friends. And after one month, two months or I don't know whatever time she suddenly meets someone guess why does she care though does she care about the person she met it depends on Harold so the Harold goes oh my god oh my god oh my god no no and Hedwig is like there's this guy I don't even care about him but then Hedwig is like this guy, but but this guy, oh my god. And the guy is messaging Hedwiga because Hedwiga is thinking about the guy. <laughs> Fucking mosquitoes. So, do you know how this ends? 
what feelings, what, what thoughts and what feelings are they pumping at the end of their relationship? Fucking negative. Guess what? It intensifies into more, 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 more and more negative. It intensifies until it ends. And that's 10 minutes long video, one of my shortest, which is, I guess, I don't remember. But this is how it works. Yes, I have not seen anyone saying this. I am, this is literally, I am the, I don't know, I haven't created this, but like, yeah. It is this way. So, don't screw it up. If you care about someone and you want to be with them, you know exactly what to do, bitch. You know what to do. This is a rampage. 10 seconds long rampage, but fucking do it. Work on it and do it. Because I just explained why people fucking break up. Yeah. Bye.